upon closer inspection, the plants here are really different. Leyline energies are also stronger here. This may be the place we've been looking for. Ready yourselves. We're going in. What is the situation? There's a ton of mechanical monsters here! They made this place their lair! Looks like there's no way to sneak by. Let's take care of them quickly. Leyline energy is spilling out from here. This device, it's extracting energy from the ley lines without end. Who in the world would do this without considering the consequences? The ley lines won't be able to repair themselves if their flow is perpetually disrupted like this. That's terrible! We have to stop it! Oh, uh, Paimon C. Uh, oh, Paimon doesn't see controls anywhere! Uh, Paimon, I don't feel so good. Standing here is equivalent to being directly showered in ley line energy, which may cause irreversible damage to your body. Take Paimon and get out of here. I'll see if I can find a way to turn this thing off. Wait, you're also vulnerable to the ley lines, right? We're staying. We can't leave you here by yourself. <sighs> then let's look for it together. If there is no control unit here, then there must be a trap door somewhere. <laughs> You know where it is? Hey! Wait for us! Ha! Keep up! Ha! Tchou! <laughs> la la la! What's this? It'll only show up if you step on it? Be careful, and watch your step. body is cold. It's emaciated, and his eyes are sunken, likely from chronic malnourishment and stress. He collapsed and never got back up. What exactly happened here? Oh, almost forgot about you. Here, this is the last one. What is it doing? Hmm, I'm not sure. Judging by this room's layout, this place was a laboratory. We should find a repository of research documents if we keep going. The file room will definitely give us some clues, so let's go take a look. Maybe we can piece together what happened here. This place is a natural hiding spot with how hidden it is. The pipes continue further. Let's head in. Did you two find anything? There are a lot of lab notes, but it would take way too long to read through them all. I found a tape recording used for an experiment, and based on its serial number, it's from two years ago. Tape recording? Yes, the Spontama created a device that visually records experiments and consolidates the final production into a tape. However, 
These devices are expensive to make and aren't entirely stable. That's why they are only used in some laboratories and do not see wider usage. Come on, let's watch it. Hold on, let me figure out how to play the tape. There. Ah, okay, this should do it. Kakata? Kakata? Seriously, I look away for one second and you're gone? There you are. Look here. This is our new home. I, Abatui, will unleash my talents here and amaze those ancient fossils at the Academia. Oh? You're also quite happy. Kakata, do you know what we're about to do? <laughs> yes, I thought not. Listen up, Kakata. I'm going to make a mechanical life form that can be mass produced. The technology will be unlike anything else that exists. I'll use mechanical organs, and electric currents will course through them like blood. A steel cast heart that will beat forever, and a brain of myriad components that can think like mine. Inspiration from the ruins and the research that the academia had banned. I hope everything can start anew from this place. When you can understand our language and live among us, you will no longer be a boring machine, but a truly living being. It's fine. You will understand. One day, you will understand me. Karkata is the mechanical crab, right? And that researcher named Abatui said he wanted to prove something to the academia? Bad researcher. Eh? I remember now. I had a junior researcher named Abatui. He was expelled from the academia for researching mechanical life forms. Junior researcher? Junior researcher. Yeah? Well, what's wrong? Nothing. Paima was just wondering, doesn't Abatui look older than you? He is, but academic progression isn't tied to age. I finished my studies a while ago, so subsequent students generally considered me as their senior. Oh. Of course, age can be an issue. For a while, people always dragged me into pictures. I felt like some kind of animal on display. <clears throat> uh, that isn't important. Let's go and see if we can find other tape recordings. Quite the time gap. I wonder what happened in between. It's rare that you malfunction because of an operational error. Seems that making coffee is still somewhat difficult for you. Or is there an issue with my set parameters? All right, there you go. Water entered the keela and caused it to short circuit, so it couldn't receive signals from the ganglion. Look at me, talking to you like this. You can't understand me anyway, can you? It's fine. I swapped in some new parts, so you should be all right now. Try moving around. Everything in working order? Be more careful next time. We're tight on money right now, so we don't have a lot of parts or power to spare. I'm glad. Karkata, did you know? Yesterday, I dreamed that you could talk. Aren't the bunch at the Academia always saying things like, Mechanical intelligence is just an extension of statistics. They were blown away when they saw us talking with each other. Too bad it was just a dream. Forget holding a conversation with me. You're so simple that you probably wouldn't even notice if I died. Never mind. I should probably be worrying about next month's power. After Abatui left the Academia, Everyone lost contact with him. I thought he was so despondent that he gave up on researching mechanical life forms. Instead, he had holed up here and continued his experiments. Paimon doesn't feel like he's a bad person. 
He even changed out Karkata's broken parts. Why would he mess with ley lines? Sounds something about power. Hmm. Let's keep looking around. <laughs> Following the serial numbers, the next recording should be here. The writing is sloppy. Perhaps his state of mind had changed. There's also an undated tape in the wrong spot. Doesn't seem like Abatui put it there. Maybe Karkata helped him with sorting. Hmm, it's hard to say. These are the last two tape recordings. Let's watch them. Sorry, Karkata. I was just thinking about something. Today might become a special day. In my recent experiments, I successfully gave you a living being's instincts. When you're low on power, or if one of your parts is damaged, you will prioritize your survival command and proactively recharge or replace your parts. That is a very dangerous thing. And today, I did something even more dangerous. I've officially activated the third generation ley line extractor. The ley lines will serve as our power source from now on. Conducting research on mechanical life forms requires a large amount of power. Even if I scrimped and saved, the more I have wouldn't last for long. I'm also getting tired, Karkata. I don't know what's driving me to continue with this research anymore. They say that even if it simulates the operation of a living creature's organs, a machine is still an ice-cold tool. I want to prove them wrong. I want to turn you into a living, breathing, and talking being. I'm not talking about anything cheerful, Karkata. Modules for language, emotion, and movement. I've been working my absolute hardest to augment and refine your functionalities, but I've never seen an effective response. You are my finest success, but even you can't understand me. All you can do is execute limited responses based on preset commands or keywords. Karkata, I wish you could speak to me. Even just once. <sighs> yes, you cannot understand me, so you cannot answer me either. It is what it is. In a few days, I'll sell the failed ley line extractor for some more and continue my experiments. Life goes on, and I have to as well. I don't have any other choice. This is no. If I place another two control modules here to simulate the brain's thalamus. Oh, of course, my heart decides to act up now. Why did I cut medication from our expenses? Karkata, come help me. <coughs> Strange. I feel weak. Oh no, I have to shut down the extractor. Shut it off. <coughs> if we let them recharge indefinitely, they'll go out of control. Right. I never input a command to shut down the extractor. So you don't understand what I'm saying. In the end, it's just like the Academia said. Mechanical life forms only bring danger. My research... Was there any point to it at all? I'm sorry, Kakata. In the end... I still wasn't able to turn you into a true mechanical life form. I see. So the ley line effluence was an accident. After Abatui's unexpected death, the mechanical monsters were driven by their instincts and continuously drew out power from the ley line extractor. 
This eventually resulted in severe damage to the ley lines. Then Karkata... Raymon understands. Then why didn't Karkata go haywire like the other machines? Because Karkata is different from the other machines. Structures similar to living organisms, the ability to cry and laugh, and capacity for independent thought. To Abatui, only a machine with these features could be considered a mechanical life form. Perhaps only by building such a machine could he have the academia acknowledge his protracted research. But if he had slowed down and saw Karkata as a friend instead of an experimental product, he would have noticed. Karkata can't speak. And yet it cares about Abatui far more than it does about itself. What does that mean? You'll see in a bit. But before that, we have a more urgent task at hand. First, let's find the control unit for the Leyline Extractor and shut it down. Transparent flooring. It feels like a maze. Below us is the final room. The control unit is likely in there. The land's here! Hmm. Wanna try jumping down? <laughs> Can't see? Let's nip that in the butt! Torn to oblivion! <sighs> Gotcha. Here comes the catch. Right this over his eyes. I'll uproot you. This should be the control unit. Once we turn it off, the ley line extractor should also shut down. Without an external force damaging the ley lines, they should start to slowly repair themselves. Oh, but I bet you two are more worried about Karkata. Let's head back. Keep up.
Karkata is unable to understand the concept of death. However, it probably remembers when Abatui replaced its parts when it malfunctioned, and how that restored it to an operational state. It's true that Karkata isn't able to think or understand many topics, but it is like a small child that imitates what adults do. So that's why it kept stealing mechanical parts. But it can't repair its owner. No matter how hard it tries. Yes, but the important thing is that it formed the thought of wanting to repair Abatui. No one knows how this thought came to be, but it has even suppressed the instincts that Abatui had installed. If it really is as we've predicted, this research truly will make waves in the academia. It might have been possible to achieve this with ancient technology, but no one has been able to do the same with modern tools. Karkata? Karkata? Can you hear Paimon? Tainari says you're awesome! It's not responding. It reached its limit. It hasn't recharged this entire time. Nor has it replaced its severely damaged parts. It's a miracle that it managed to hang on for so long. I'm going to confirm that the Leyline Extractor has shut down. Come with me. Let them... Be alone for a while. Ha! The Leyline Extractor has ceased operations. Traces of Leyline energy are still in the atmosphere, but the effluence's source has been stopped. The purification devices will handle the rest. Moving on, those affected by the ley lines need immediate care. We'll put up an announcement on the bulletin board about the dangers of entering the contaminated region, and for symptomatic individuals to find Kale. Kokata. According to the Academia's policies, we need to bring everything back. Research materials related to mechanical life forms will be destroyed, and Karkata will be disassembled and sealed away. What the heck? You two should return first. I'll take care of things here. Although we've stopped the source of the effluence, the ley line energy in the air exceeds normal values. Your bodies won't be able to hold up if you continue to stay here. Uh, but... Listen, the Traveler hasn't rested very well, right? Also, it'll take some time to pack up all the research documents. You're not familiar with this research after all, so you won't be of much use here. Tell the Adventurer's Guild that the incident has been resolved, and then get some sleep. We can discuss matters tomorrow. Oh, and don't talk about Abatui. The fewer that know about mechanical life form research, the better. All right. Then let's go back to Catherine. <laughs> Thank you for your hard work. Once the excess leyline energy dissipates from the air, we should be able to make an announcement for residents to resume their normal activities. This is the stipulated reward. Please accept it. Is Karkata going to be sent back to the Academia? It's already damaged, but Paimon feels sad thinking about it getting disassembled. E. Oh! Then how about we find Tainari tomorrow and ask him not to do that? Paima really wants to go right now, but Tainari said that we would discuss matters tomorrow. 
We'll probably make him mad if we go now, huh? Yep. All right, then. We'll find Tainari tomorrow and tell him not to disassemble Kakata. Keep your voice down. The lilac Daphne, a Daphne of the genus Themeliaceae, has a strong anti-convulsant effect, can be made into an anesthetic powder. Extrapolating from these two data sets, it would be particularly potent against Piscine species. Hey, make sure you're getting all this down. Karkata? Huh. I told you all to keep your voices low. Plants aren't afraid of noise, but your shouting is making my ears ring. You... you didn't disassemble Karkata? Why would I do that? But... Paimon thought you said, according to the Academia's policies... So that's why you two barged in like barbarians at this hour. Fine. I suppose I wasn't clear enough about this yesterday. What I meant was, according to the Academia's policies, all products of research must be destroyed. That's why we can't let the Academia discover that place. So you stayed back with us too. Anyway, the first thing I did was repair Karkata. During my time at the Academia, I took an elective course at the Spantama. Who knew it would prove useful one day? We then buried Abatui together. After organizing the research materials, I kept some as a souvenir. Most of it was burned to hide the evidence. I'm not with the Academia. So what do their policies have to do with me? On the other hand, I am the Forest Watcher of the Avidya Forest. I have a duty to protect all life in the forest. All life brought forth in this world has meaning. And Karkata is no exception. If it exists, then it shouldn't be carelessly abandoned or destroyed. <laughs> You just said life form. You recognize Karkata as a true living being now? The possibility exists, is all. It's hard to explain Karkata's efforts to repair Abatui. Abatui only left behind a small portion of his research. Who knows how many commands he installed? Maybe a conflict between all those commands resulted in this sort of behavior. From a more rigorous perspective, it is impossible to conclude that Karkata is a real life form. But the possibility exists. I am willing to believe in that. By the way, I'm not interested in continuing research on this subject. I'm just letting it hang out here because this place is relatively secluded. But as things stand now, it wouldn't be a bad idea to make it my research assistant. At the very least, it can record my experiments. What do you think? When people at the Academia included me in a group photo, they would also send me a copy. I have zero interest in group photos, but I also wouldn't just throw them away. I stored them all in a box. After coming back yesterday, I looked through them and found one with Abatui. I gave it to Karkata. And it seemed happy. That's good enough. Hey. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 